I had a request for an explanation of the drive modes. And what the customer was asking was about the sport, the eco, and the normal drive modes. But they also had some questions about maximizing your fuel economy and then some other things that are specific to the RAV4 Prime and Prius Prime for that matter. So I'm gonna do this, but the first part of it is going to apply to all Toyota products. And then I'm gonna get more specifically into hybrids and then I'll finish off with some things about the primes. So let's start off with drive modes. When you start the car, it's probably going to be in the normal. And on the RAV4s, you turn this little dial either to the left or right. And you notice when you do, when I turn this to the left this little ring went green that is the eco mode the eco mode does a couple of things it reduces throttle response which means when i step on the gas pedal there's going to be a little bit of delay and it's going to ramp up to the speed that you asked it to go to uh, it's just not as quick or responsive and then if you hit the normal mode you notice now our little ring went white that's the normal mode in the normal mode, uh, the air conditioning goes back into its normal mode, so it's not in the uh, eco uh, setting for the air conditioning. Uh, and the throttle response is better. You step on the gas pedal, it comes up to what you asked it to do uh, without as much delay. The sport mode, when you engage sport mode, everything just turned red. Now the sport mode does a couple of things. Number one, the throttle response is just instantaneous. When you step on that gas pedal, it's gonna go. It is very quick. On a non-hybrid, it changes how the shift pattern works. It gets more aggressive in the shift pattern. It does something else too. The steering, you will find the steering to be, it feels heavier. Uh, I prefer it. The car feels more planted in that mode. Now, the downside to, to the sport mode is that every single time you engage it, when you turn the car off and restart it, it'll move back into the normal mode. It won't stay there. You have to select it each time you start the car up. That's not the case with the eco mode. So that is how the drive modes work on regular cars. Now let's talk about hybrids. You've got another button down here for trail. So what that does is it changes the algorithm on how the all-wheel drive system works and it works better in snow, mud, anything where you have less traction or you use the, uh, the trail mode. So which of these modes is better for gas mileage? Well, I own one of these. I've put 38,000 miles on a hybrid XSE RAV4. I found almost no difference between the gas mileage in eco and normal, and even sport. As a matter of fact, in some regards, sport can even work better. Uh, and that's because of a driving technique called pulse and glide. Pulse and glide means that you accelerate fairly briskly. Go ahead and take advantage of that sport mode for the rapid acceleration. You get up to the speed you wanna go, and then you kind of feather the throttle. When you do that, you're going to be able to see your little eco indicator, which is going to be the gas mileage thing here. It's going to go up and it's going to stay very, very high every time it goes into a, coast, into a coasting mode. That's the glide portion of it. So in pulse and glide, you can really get some good gas mileage. I added about three or four miles to the gallon on my personally owned RAV4. I'm uh, over 38,000 miles, I have averaged 41 miles to the gallon. And that summer, winter, all kinds of different driving. So I'm very, very happy with that. And most of that has been done in the sport mode. Okay, so that covers hybrids. Let's talk about specifically the primes because you have two extra buttons here. And actually on the XSE, you have another button called custom. Honestly, I haven't played with one enough. Here in Virginia, we don't get primes very often, so I haven't had a chance to play with the custom modes. You'll have to work on that somewhere else. But what do these buttons do? The, the Auto EV HV and the HV EV. 
button that says charge hold. So what that does in the, the auto EVHV means that the car is going to use the gas engine sparingly. It's going to use the electric motor as much as it can while it uses up its EV range. And this one right now uh, is showing a 26 mile range uh, in EV, which means ostensibly I could drive 26 miles before the gas engine would turn on. I, if I'm driving around and I want to uh, make sure that I'm biasing everything I can towards the EV, I can hit that turn off the auto mode and put it into a full EV mode. Kind of a weird reason why you'd want to do that. The other thing though is this HV EV thing. So if you have a 26 mile, is that focusing? If you have a 26 mile range and the first part of your drive is going to be all highway driving. High speed is going to eat that up a lot faster than 26 miles. But later in your drive, you know that you're going to be in town where you're going to be able to use the EV a lot better. You might want to bank or save your EV driving for later in your drive. Well, in that case, you would hit that button and turn it into the HV mode. You notice it just went HV mode. HV stands for hybrid vehicle. So now it's a hybrid. It's going to run uh, using the gas engine a lot more so that you can save your EV driving for when you get into, into a town situation where you can better use that. So a lot of buttons. Honestly, I would just turn the sport on every single time I got in it and just leave it in the auto mode, let it do its thing. It's pretty good about figuring out what the best combination is to make the most of your fuel economy. So let it do its thing for the most part. Don't worry about that auto and the, and the charge hold button. Uh, use the sport mode though. That's one, that one's fun. Uh, it's, a, it's a much more exhilarating way to drive and you don't get accused of uh, poking around in a slow car. So I hope this is all helpful. This is Steve Clifford. Thank you for watching.